hi everyone in this video i am explaining about the concept of transients this transients it is an event that is undesirable and momentary in nature according to the definition it is the sudden change in one steady state operating condition to another the definition of these transients are clearly explained in this pictorial representation here this is entire power system this is the generation transmission lines and then to the load the power generated at the generating stations is transferred through the transmission lines to the load here the lightning one of the example that is the lightning strikes on this transmission line the true sinusoidal quantity is going to be disturbed that there is a change in this true sinusoidal quantity this is the product when the lightning strikes on this transmission line see here the true sinusoidal quantity is going to be disturbed this is the one point the true sinusoidal quantity is going to be disturbed and the true sinusoidal quantity is is disturbed at these two points these two points is called as transients we are concluded the definition as it is the sudden change in one steady state operating condition to another this is the one steady state condition and there is a change sudden change and to another steady state condition these transients are classified into two types one is impulsive second one is oscillatory according to the impulsive transients according to the definition an impulsive transient a sudden non power frequency change in the steady state condition of voltage current are both that is unidirectional in polarity that is either positive or negative this impulsive transients are normally characterized by their rise and decay times due to high frequency nature the shape of impulsive transients may be changed quickly by circuit components and may have significant difference characteristics when viewed from different parts of the power system they are generally not conducted far from the source and this impulsive transients can excite the nature natural frequency of power system circuits and produce oscillatory transients here the sources for these impulsive transients are lightning this waveform is showing the typical current impulsive transient caused by lightning this one this plot is representation for the lightning stroke current impulsive transient here on the x axis we are considering the time and on the y axis you are considering the current while we are observing the plot between this time and the current the curve is produced like this fashion 
and this will be produced in the negative direction. According to the impulsive transients, we are concluded that an impulsive transient, a sudden non-power frequency changes in the steady state condition of voltage, current, or both, that is unidirectional polarity. By the consideration of by the observation of these uh, wave uh, plot, this waveform you are observed is it is only the unidirectional one. And the second one is oscillatory transients. According to the definition, an oscillatory transient is a sudden non-power frequency change in the steady state condition of the voltage, current or both that includes both the positive and negative polarity values. Here, the instantaneous values of oscillatory transients changes polarity rapidly. These oscillatory transients are classified into three types. One is the high frequency transients, second one is the medium frequency transients, third one is the low frequency transients. This will be divided or classified according to the frequency levels. According to this high frequency transients, it is greater than the 500 kilohedges. That is, these have frequency components greater than 500 kilohedges and a typical duration measured in microseconds. And for the medium frequency transients, these have frequency components between 5 and 500 kilohedges with a duration measured in the tens of microseconds. And for the low frequency transients, these have frequency components less than 5 kilohedges and a duration from 0.3 to 50 milliseconds. The sources for these oscillatory transients are back-to-back -back capacitor switching, transformer energization. Here, a plot is shown here and this plot is representation for the, the oscillatory transients to back capacitor switching. Here, are, here in this observation, we are considering the time on the x-axis and uh, the current on the y-axis. While we are observing clearly, this obtained waveform for these oscillatory transients due to back-to-back -back capacitor switching, we are this one is producing the both positive and negative polarities. Both positive and negative polarities. This one is the positive section, this one is the negative section. Both the positive and the negative polarities. This is the explanation of these uh, transients.